Sunday morning. Oh, this pillow is so comfortable. Oh, why do I have to get up and go to church? I work hard all week long, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Saturday, I work so hard cleaning the house, hmm. baking, and oh, it's so much work. And then Sunday, it's my only day to sleep. Oh, it's okay to go and sleep. Here, I was feeling so guilty, but you make me feel so good. It's okay to just sleep on Sunday morning. Oh, okay. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, that pastor, all he preaches is from the Bible. He preaches about Jesus. If he would just preach about Goldilocks and the three bears and fairy tales, oh, it'd be so exciting. Oh, I don't know. I think maybe I should check the Bible. No, don't. No, I no. should check the don't Bible, check see what it says. I better check it. Oh, yes, I'm going to check the Word of God. Uh, here, it says in Hebrews 10, 25, not forsaken the assembling of ourselves together. <laughs> as the manner of some is, but here, have this. Take the word of God. <laughs> you know, I don't think he'll ever come back. He's really scared of me. Well, <laughs> now it's another day, you know. You just take the word of God to Satan and he just will run and flee. Look at this big world with all the continents and land and sea. You know, people sometimes, they tell us that God created the world. I can't see how he could create the world, but just speaking the word, it can't be, you know. I wonder if he really did, you know. They say in school that Darwin created the world. I mean, that Darwin said that it just evolved. Maybe he's right. You kids let me know if that devil ever comes back, okay. Oh. oh, did God really create the world? No. He did it? No. Well, all the time, I, ever since I was a child, I've been taught that God created it. Yeah, but Darwin is more right. Oh, he is? Is Darwin right, kids? No. Oh, well, listen. I'm, I'm going to check the Bible one more time. Don't uh, check the Bible. No. Yeah, Genesis 1-1, it says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Just get away from me, Satan. Oh, he's always coming around. You kids let me know, because sometimes he sneaks up. Well, oh dear. I'm, I've been praying about this thing so long, and I think that God, maybe he's not even going to answer my prayer. You know, I think, I wonder if it does any good to pray. Ah, uh, I, I don't know. What? He's coming again? Oh, no. Well, maybe he's got a good word for me this time. Don't worry. You don't have to worry about praying. No, really? No prayer. It, it won't help you, not. It won't help to pray? No. I thought all the time if you pray that God's going to hear us up in heaven. No. You just remember that no, your prayer won't be answered. It won't? Well, I better check the Bible one more time. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I better yeah. check it. Oh, Matthew 7, 7. Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find a knock and it shall be open unto you. Oh, yes. I don't think he's ever going to come back to me. Oh, come see and just, he's a guy, he's not going to be there. Leave me alone. But you guys better tell me just in case. You know, ever since I was a small child, you know, I've been looking for Jesus to come. They told me he's coming soon. And I keep looking up in the sky and see if he's really coming. And they say he was coming soon. And I heard that since I was a little child. And here I am an old grandmother now. And he hasn't come back for all of these years. Maybe he really is not coming again. What do you think? You think he's coming? Yeah. Do you don't think he's coming? Yeah. Maybe he's not coming back. And I've been just worried about it all this time. Oh. Trying to oh. He's coming? Oh. Oh. Maybe he's going to tell me something good oh. this time. He's not coming again. He hasn't come. I know he hasn't come for all these years. Maybe he won't, huh? Is it just just been? I've been deceived all these years. Yeah, that's right. Oh well, I think I think maybe 
I better check to see what the Bible says. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna check. She's at home. Yeah, I'm gonna check. Acts 1 11. It says the same Jesus is coming again. And devil, take that. Now you just get away from me and don't come back. And you know what? If the devil comes around, you start quoting the Bible to him. He's scared of the Bible. He's scared of the word of God. So just remember, Jesus is coming again. Now we're going to do this song. Jenny, would you come and help me? We're going to have a talk. Hey, give the show. 